Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to use Nakivo Backup and Replication on a QNAP NAS device. Nakivo Backup and Replication can be installed via the QNAP App Center or the Nakivo website. Let's start with the QNAP App Center. First, check if your NAS model is among the QNAP NAS devices supported by the solution. To start the installation, enter the IP address of your QNAP NAS in the browser to open the QNAP desktop. Then go to the App Center. Search for Nakivo Backup and Replication in the list of applications. You can just type Nakivo into the search bar to quickly locate the solution. You have the option to install a full QNAP package with all the solution components, the director, a transporter, and a backup repository, or with a transporter only. A transporter only installation is useful if you have a Nakivo Backup and Replication backup server installed elsewhere. This allows you to store data directly on the QNAP NAS device, bypassing the SIFs and the NFS protocols. The second method is to install Nakivo Backup and Replication through the Nakivo website. Head over to Nakivo.com, click Download Free Trial, complete the form, and click Download Free Trial again. This will give you a list of available installers, along with instructions for installation on the right side of the page. Expand the installer for NAS category. QNAP package should be the first option available. If you click Download, you will get the package for a full Nakivo backup and replication installation, including the director. For other installation options, expand the QNAP package category. Let's see how to install the full solution manually. Download the full .qpkg installer from the Nakivo website and navigate back to the QNAP App Center. Click the Install Manually icon in the top right-hand corner of the screen. In the installation window that pops up, click Browse, then locate the .qpkg installer on your computer. Finally, click Install and wait for the installation to finish. As you can see, the package installation is straightforward and doesn't take much time. After that, click on the Nakivo Backup and Replication icon to get the link to the web interface and continue the deployment. Click Login to accept the license agreement and create an account for Nakivo Backup and Replication Server. Enter the required details into the form and click Create Account to proceed to the Configuration Wizard. The web interface shows three configuration sections to help you set up the solution. The inventory is where you add the environments you want to protect with Nakivo Backup and Replication. If I click Add New, the Add Inventory Item tab opens. You can add a virtual environment such as VMware vCenter, ESXi hosts, Microsoft Hyper-V hosts or clusters, Nutanix AHV clusters, and VMware Cloud Director Server. You can also protect Microsoft 365 objects and Amazon EC2 instances. The solution can integrate with Amazon S3 and Wasabi to store backups in the cloud. You can also add Windows and Linux servers and workstations to the inventory, in addition to Oracle databases. The last option enables you to integrate the solution with an HPE 3PAR storage device. I'll choose Virtual and select VMware vCenter or ESXi Host as the type. Click Next. Enter a display name for the integration, then provide a host name or an IP address. Enter the username and the password, then click Finish to start the integration. When the process is done, click Next. This section contains information about the transporter, the component responsible for compressing, deduplicating, encrypting, and transporting data. You can read more information about the transporter by clicking Learn More. If I click Got It, you will see that there's only one transporter currently installed. Remember that this is a full Nakivo backup and replication installation, so it contains the director and a transporter. The solution needs only one transporter to be installed per site. This means that with the single transporter installed on your NAS device, Nakivo backup and replication can protect the entire environment you've added. But there's an alternative option. You could install a transporter on each ESXi host. This transporter would act as a source, while the onboard transporter acts as a target. Let's move to the last section in the configuration wizard, Repositories. Click Add Backup Repository to create a new repository on your NAS device. There are multiple types of backup repositories in the Kivo Backup and Replication. The types are Local Folder, CFS Share, NFS Share, Amazon EC2, Amazon S3, Wasabi, SAS for Microsoft 365 Objects, 
and deduplication appliance for direct integration with multiple deduplication devices. Without a transporter residing on the NAS device directly, you would need to use either a CIFS share or an NFS share repository. Those types are also valid options, but the local folder repository provides better ransomware resilience and higher backup performance. I'm going to choose a local folder for this demo. Click Next. Enter a name for the backup repository and select the assigned transporter. In this case, I have only one transporter, so I will select Onboard Transporter. You need to provide the path to the folder where your backups will be stored. Make sure you've already created the folder on your QNAP NAS. I'm going to create a new folder. As you can see, this folder is located in Share slash Homes. Now go back to Nikivo Backup and Replication and enter the path into the remaining field. You can also use the SSH Manager on your QNAP NAS to locate the directory where you'd like to create the backup repository. Click Next to move on to the Options section. You can disable data size reduction if you already have a deduplication appliance integrated with Nakivo Backup and Replication. Next, the reliability and maintenance settings help ensure that your backup repository stays healthy. You can configure the solution to automatically check the consistency of the backup repository to detect and fix any errors. If the solution can't resolve any issue automatically, you will get notified to contact our support team. You can also configure self-healing to run on schedule. You can also choose to run full data verification on schedule. Running data verification once per month is recommended, depending on your data sensitivity and the size of your backup repository. Click Finish, and the solution will start creating the backup repository on a QNAP NAS. Once that's done, click Finish to complete the configuration. By default, the Nikivo Backup and Replication interface is available on the IP address of your QNAP NAS via port 4443. So to access the interface, just write down the IP address you see on the screen. And that concludes our how-to video. Visit the Nikivo Resource Library for more how-tos and other useful resources.